All right, now upon walking around here, we have managed to find a really pretty flower at the moment. Take a look at this. Very, very nice. Sorry about the shake there. But so uh, this has got two common names. The one is called the string of stars, and then it's also known as a scorpion's tail. And you can see why it's called a scorpion's tail. Almost looks like the tail with the curl and the sting right at the end. Just look at this, a beautiful string of stars, isn't it? Look how pretty that flower is. Almost like a fern, growing like a fern, but not quite. This is actually considered a perennial herb. Just pretty. Just look at this, incredible, nice little flower. Now it's interesting, the first part of the, the scientific name, uh, which is the, the Helitropium, it means to turn towards the sun. And that is the meaning of Helitropium, to turn towards the sun. We have just stumbled across these buffalo here on Cheetah Cut Line, while we were busy just doing our border patrol looking to see if, uh, if leopard tracks are crossed over here. I had the tracks from Tralamba yesterday going up on Batalia, moving in this general direction. And yeah, here they are. Well, not the leopards, <laughs> the buffalo. Obviously, just sitting down, there's one guy that's getting them all up and going again now, or one go. We're static ruminating, so it looks like Oh no, I'll all sit down again. Good morning little ones. Hello. Two youngsters with this. Fortunately I did see an adult here moving a little bit further down that side. I might be might come back again. I'm just going to sit here for a few moments, as you know, we're not really allowed to sit with the cubs if there's no adult, but I'm sure I saw an adult move down here now. I'm going to get more binocs here quickly. Of course, this is, oh, no, don't come this way. Of course, uh, that's in Tima's cub at the entrance. It's getting so big. We will, this is Ina. This lion's name is Ina. Mommy's name is Intima. <laughs> and I, I wonder how that branch got there. Because it wasn't there yesterday. Yeah, this branch was not here yesterday at the entrance of the den. So clearly, I won't be surprised if it was uh, June's cub that decided to move that stick around and drag it to the entrance of the den. First Ellie's of the day, everybody. That is a fantastic way for us to start the day. See that ear one pointing forward, the other one pointing backwards. Oh, it's listening out for anything, any danger. But aren't they beautiful? I love kudus. So, why do I say it's a female? Well, if it was a male, it would have big spiraled horns. We'll have his horns coming out on top of the head, looking like a corkscrew, two of them. This is a female, and there's one or two of them that's also in the background, but you can't see them. So they're not solitary. So when it comes to really looking at a family structure, usually more than one female. There's this other one uh, to the left there. 
always very much in the thick vegetation, so you don't really see them on really on these big plains and that because they are browsers. So they just feed on uh, leaves, not grass. And that's why they're always in the thick stuff. And that's why they've got those beautiful white lines that's running vertically down the sides of their body. Uh, just to break really the outline of their body itself when they're walking through the thickets. Oh, we've got an African rock python. Look at this, a python. All right, I'm just going to quickly, do you think we can try and move this side, eh? Get the front end. What? Thank you to uh, Gert. I was driving. I'm busy looking around. And Gert's like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and in front of us is this python. Oh, my word. Uh, it's not a, a venomous uh, snake, but it is a constrictor. There it is. I got that. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my word! I haven't seen a python for years. Okay, not like years, but like at least for a good maybe year or two. And look how beautiful is the, the skin, just the patterns on it. And they can easily get up to about four or five meters. And this one is about, oh, what do you think? I'll say about. About three, but maybe two and a half, three. Okay, two and a half. Wow, 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 what a sighting! And I'm on. Ursa not too sure with the wind moving around like this. Her sense of smell isn't too great. Her eyesight's not the best. Her hearing is not going to be as good as it should be because of the wind. So that all makes one very nervous elephant. She's not letting baby drink because she probably just heard the sound of the car and then stopped. Okay, we managed to find a female giraffe at the moment and it seems like she's eating on what looks like a marula from here. I've tried to look through binoculars, but the binoculars are really misted up. And there's a great example just behind it as well. Oh, this female giraffe is very observant. She's, uh, she's definitely spotted something around her, but I don't think it's that much of a threat. There is some impala not too far from here either. I think uh, she's just uh, very curious by them. And in fact, she's slowly walking towards them now. So this uh, female giraffe just standing, standing fast over there and cocking her ears down, as you can see. I would reckon that uh, a lot of the rain is going into her ears right now. So she's pointing them down to prevent too much moisture getting into her ears. Mm -hmm. 